Hello and welcome back to 605 Sports Cards. Devin here. Have a new product review or release. This came out on March 8th. Just got it today. Uh, happens to be my birthday. So kind of excited to check out what Leaf Sports Heroes has. <clears throat> three autograph cards per box. Only three cards per box. As you can see on the front, it's a mix of sports. So you got baseball, football, I think some basketball. Um, not a whole lot of detail in the box is what you're looking for. Obviously you got multi-autos, um, inscriptions I think is a new thing that they're putting in here. And that's kind of your base. So with Panini being so expensive, I want to try out Leaf. They have some cool products, even though they aren't licensed. But they, they do good work, good quality. They hand pack the boxes, so you usually don't have to worry about getting completely skunked on every box. <clears throat> I think I bought these at 110 or so. I pre-ordered them. I've seen them going for about 140 as they're getting closer to release date. So for three autographs, not a terrible price when you're looking at what you're paying for hobby boxes right now with Panini products. So wanted to get a couple, see what they have going on in them. Also, uh, as you can see, we're back to just hands. I've been sick the last couple of days. So looking all disheveled here. So we're, we're going to do a little old school look in here. Just the hands. <clears throat> Um, also, I will have a, I'm running a 10K coming up in the next couple months. I think it's May 11th. Um, I'm going to, it is for charity. It is a, for a, a hospital around here that does um, fundraising for cancer research and patients. So I will put a link, put a link in the videos. It'll be in the bottom. I'll do one to the foundation. None of this money is coming to me. It doesn't go through me to them. This is just my link. For donations, so a lot of us uh, have people we know that have cancer, had cancer, lost people to cancer. So if anybody would like to donate through my fundraiser, it is all tax deductible if you keep track of that stuff at the end of the year. So if you you know want to get a start on it early for donations, like I said, it helps cancer patients with bills now, cancer research, and uh, survivors. So it's it's something I've done once while I lived up here. It's a yearly event they do. So I'm going to run the 10K. It is a fundraiser. Um, I'll leave my link in there for donating. You can do it under mine, which would be, you know, I'd be super excited to have the card community, you know, help help someone for a good cause. If you can, if you can't, no big deal. <clears throat> uh, you can do it anonymously. You can leave a name. And, uh Yeah. Just kind of a, a, fun, a way to do things, help out communities, help out people that are struggling. And like I said, I will not profit anything from it. It does not go to me. It will go straight to the foundation. Um, I figure I'd rather do this. Some people like to do the, the YouTube stars or whatever where, you know, YouTube gets a cut. But I'd prefer so if anything ever going to me if uh, I can do some more of these fundraiser type things. If people would like to donate instead of, you know, donate to channels and stuff. Uh, something I want to try to start doing, you know. And uh, I like to do it where you're doing races or, you know, something that sucks for you. Because a lot of people are going through hard times and uh, it's, you know, for a good cause. So if you like to, the link will be in the video, in the description. We're going to get into this. We have three cards in here. I do not know how these... Are laid out in there sometimes leaf puts a cover card other times they don't sometimes they are sleeves i don't think we looks like we got that cut all the way um sometimes they have a cover card cover and stuff sometimes they don't they can be in sleeved and top loaders or in one touches Trims are difficult to open, so we're gonna go. I think they're just gonna be in, yeah, take that out. So they're just top loaded, so there's another piece covering them up in there. Let's see, here will be our first card. It is Jack Clark for the Sports Heroes. They usually, their, their last card's usually their biggest one of the box. Number 31 out of 49. I am not familiar with Jack Clark. 
but they make, I mean, that's a good looking car. If that's just kind of the base card to this set, that looks really good. Man, I'd imagine they should all should be pretty well-known people if you're a baseball fan, as this is, you know, sports heroes, so they should have, should be iconic players. Good looking card. That is our first one out of box one. Might regret only buying two of these. It's been so hard with Panini lately to pay those prices when you can't get all the top autographs and stuff. So we got our second one here. Andrew Jones, a season to remember, 2005. And nice autographs on these. I'm gonna, that's some kudos there. Another 38 out of 49. So I'm hoping since these two weren't monster cards, our last one's hiding something nice. Maybe a multi multiple one. So, nice looking card once again. Leaf does a good job for not being licensed. They, they put quality in their product, I feel like. Which is nice. As you can see... In the back corner over here, we got some rookies and stars. I wasn't going to buy any. I did. There will be a later video. Maybe wait till I'm not feeling so crappy. But being this new product, I couldn't couldn't let it sit there and wait. So here we go. Our last card. A Joe Montana autograph. Very cool. And that one is out of 25. 9 out of 25. Joe Montana in his Chiefs uniform. As close as it can get without any logos. Sweet. I do not have any Joe Montana autographs. So, hey, I'm happy to have that one. That one's 9 out of 25. Very cool. Joe Montana. All right, that's box one. That's the layout of them. That's what they're looking like. Fun product, I feel like, for, you know, a little over 100 bucks what I paid per box. Tape here. Almost wants to cut. There we go. Don't know where I put my razor blade one, but we made it through without any injuries. Always waiting for it to happen on camera at some point, or you go ahead and slice a finger or something. Oh, the cards are not staying in. There we go. All right. I don't know if they got mixed up, what order they're in now. Well, let's go ahead and get to our first one. Neil Smith. Perfect. This is a cracked ice look. Actually a Husker, so this one will be going to the PC. Played for Nebraska. 12 out of 39 on the cracked ice look here. Very cool card. And uh, a PC one for me, since I collect Husker players that played the NFL. So I'm not going to complain about that. So box one, off to a good start. And card number two. Love to see a multiple autograph one out of this. A Michael Harris. Another cracked eyes. Kind of weird, the other ones are all those black. So three out of 39. Still believe these are all sticker autos. They kind of hide it well if they are, but everyone's signing nice autographs. I don't see any initials so far, so I don't know if that's something just these older guys do. They sign the full autograph, or if Leaf kind of uh, promotes putting on a little more than just some initials. So there's our fifth autograph. Let's see. Card number six, our final one of this video. It is a Jackson Shurio, and this looks like a gold vinyl. So it's going to be a one of one. It is, this is my first one of one I have ever pulled. So I know it's a lot more common out of leaf. You have a bush bird chance if you would like to chase those one of ones. Because they don't make as much, and they're a little more lenient on them. But that is a sweet card. A gold vinyl, one of one, of Jackson Shurio, Shuro, 
Oh, well, churro would be a good one. They're delicious. So, hey, there's my first one of one I've ever pulled. There's a leaf product, and the reason I like it, you do have a lot more chances at one of ones. Set them up here. So there we go. Final card is a one of one. So first box, we ended up with the Joe Montana as our out of 25 bigger hit. And Andrew Jones and Jack Clark out of 49. And I believe they're both out of 49. So good looking cards. Really fun product. That's, I mean, for a hundred bucks, like you're not getting $10 worth of the cards. So for people like me that like autographs, that's kind of what I, I collect mostly is autographs. I feel like this is a, this is a great product for, you know, a good price. We got our one of one, Neil Smith PC there and Michael Harris, the second. So a lot of baseball cards and then one football card per, per box for me. <clears throat> might be something i try to track down if prices haven't shot up i mean this is this is really fun it's nice not getting skunked on a 900 hundred dollar box <coughs> oh, excuse me been fighting them the whole time but they're starting to sneak out <clears throat> so that will do it for leaf heroes metal of 2024 i believe what they put on the box yep uh fun rip really fun product and uh if you you know have the means Really appreciate if anybody would donate for the the cancer funding and research and helping families out. If you can, if you can't, that's fine. Maybe spread the word. <clears throat> I mean, if we all come together, like a dollar here, a dollar there, it really adds up fast. Um, I've contributed, obviously, and, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. Appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, we'll probably be doing some Rookies and Stars in the next video. Links for donations if you're interested are down the bottom. I'm trying to make it, you know, look as be show you it's legit, not make it look legit. <clears throat> That's actually going to a foundation and it'll be for a good cause. And I'm gonna suffer through the 10k. Used to be uh, pretty good at running, but I've put on some weight and uh, had some injuries, so I'm gonna suffer through it. So thanks for watching. Um, really fun product, Leaf. I would say it. It was way more fun than most Panini products. Um, not, you know, I mean, I don't know how much we made back if we sold all these cards, but I think we get pretty close to normal, at least breaking even, if not, since I'm not familiar with the baseball players, don't know what their ceiling looks like <clears throat> yet. Do some research. Um, yeah, fun video, fun product. I'm probably going to try to buy more Leaf stuff as it releases. They do, I think every week or so they release a new product but they also do hockey these multi-sports football so they have a wide variety and uh yeah that'll do it for this video thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one